Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I am Mike Benitez. Today we're going to be doing another episode of Locomotive Histories. Today we're not going to be talking about not one, but two types of steam locomotives. Because they're literally the same type. And these, uh, and these, um, and these engines are... The Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe Railroad Class 3000. And the Virginian Railroad Class AE. Now, the reason I want to do a video on both of these locomotives is because the, both of these locomotives have a have a very unique wheel arrangement. 2, 10, 10, 2, which means they have two front truck wheels, two sets of 10 driving wheels, and two, uh, and two sets uh, and one set of two the um, trailing wheels at the cab. So let's talk about the Edison, Topeka, and Santa Fe, Fe Railroads number three thousand class. The ATSF actually uh, actually rebuilt their two ten twos in the two ten ten twos, the way the three thousand class was made up. And all ten of these locomotives were built of this class. But most of the pictures have been of the first locomotive, 3000. One unique thing about the 3000 class was because the front of the boiler right here was superheated, which means that this is how the malaise uh, worked. Water water will be heated up and first used as the large set of the second uh, se uh, second unit of dry wheels, and then and then the it would pa and then the steam would pass into the into the smaller um, front units before exhausting through the smokestack. This is how the malay uh, the malays were supposed to work. In fact, in fact, both classes of locomotives are considered malays or compound engines. This class locomotive also had a feed water heater, which meant that uh, which meant that cool f water would be warmed up before being injected into the locomotive itself. The fire tubes used for this ran through the feed water uh, feed water uh, uh, feed water tank where they kept the cool water. This was a completely new experiment, and these locomotives were the largest until almost 1914. However. This class of locomotive was unsuccessful of the experiment and was deemed a failure. And the locomotives were rebuilt in the 2102s from 1915 to 1918, ending the, uh, the Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe Railroad Class 300. But what about the Virginian Railroad? This class will later become known as the Virginian Railroad Class AE. Now, these class now this class was built by Alco in 1918, and was one of the biggest locomotives of its time. Now, since it was it was a bit long, the the um the uh, tender had to become small to fit on turntables. Like, trust me, this locomotive would be ma would be too big to go on a turntable, and they and they and so they had to make the tender smaller. But still, like the, the, like the 3000 class, they were both classified as two 10 10 twos. Two, two front truck wheels, two sets of driving wheels, and two trailing wheels. These engines were, were classified as compound Malley locomotives, which meant they had a swing a swinging mechanism to go around curves easily. This was also adapted on the big uh, on the Union Pacific Big Boys 4000 class locomotives. And just like the 3000 class the, uh, of the uh, Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe Railroad, the Virginia Railroad's AE class uh, had steam first go into the real set, rear set of driving wheels, then into the front set of, uh, of driving wheels before exhausting through the smokestack. The the reason this this locomotive was designed to have the this type of water or this type of steam uh steam design was to have more attractive effort and trust me they proved to be quite powerful. These trains these locomotives were used on the eight to ten miles an hour coal trains on the Virginia Railroad and since these uh, since these engines were so were so powerful they were more successful than the uh, than the three thousand class and they ran until the nineteen forties which they were called the drag era locomotives due to the reason of the diesel era 
all nine locomotives were scrapped. None locomotive of this ever type of 21010 have ever survived in the preservation. And so, the two only so sole surviving classes of 21010s is no longer around and has become extinct. But hopefully, either one of these locomotives can be rebuilt, and I hope they will. But they are not forgotten, as the 3000 class had a Lionel model built for them, and I hope to get one quite soon. And Sunset Models has, has made several models of the Virginian class AEs. To me, I prefer the 21010, uh, the ATSF of um, 3000 class to be rebuilt. But who knows? Maybe the Virginian class of AEs can be rebuilt. I mean, come on, we they could get rebuilt, uh, but we'll just never know. But hopefully, either one of these two classes will be rebuilt or built a replica of it, of them. Thank you guys for enjoying this video, and please comment down and below which one of these two f class locomotives is your favorite. Or the, uh, is it the ATSF um, for the 3000 class, as seen here? Or the more successful a Virginian Railroad class AEs? To me, I prefer the 3000 class, but who knows? What's your favorite? Comment down below. Thank you guys for watching this video, and hope to see you real soon. I am Mike Mites, signing out on the stories of the now extinct, but hopefully replicate the AT... Uh, Topeka, Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe, Santa Fe Railroad Class 300, and the and the Virginian class, the Virginian class AEs. To the only surviving, the only actual uh, locomotives of the 21010-2 type, and no longer around. Then you guys, this is Mike Benitez signing out.